All right, hello everyone. My name is Otkern, and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot Remastered. Now, last time I left off, we were going into the Native Fortress. We had just finished Hog Wild, one of the best levels of Crash. <laughs> oh my God! Like my face is actually hurting from smiling because, ah, uh, it's like, oh my God! If they actually do like, uh, what's it? A Spyro reboot where he actually plays like how he's supposed to play, not like the Skylanders shit. And where he actually looks like Spyro, not, you know, a. Because that new Skylander shit is not Spyro. You know, you can say that it looks like a duck. Swims like a duck, but it's not a duck. Shit. Nope. <laughs> I love how Crash just face plants. And like I said, it makes it feel like, you know, he's got weight to him. Up and over. Ugh. Fuck you, monkeys. Out, oh, damn it. One, two. And like I said, in this one, there's actually speed trials, which are actually never were in the original game. <laughs> Screw you, dude. Oh, shit. Damn it, right in front of a checkpoint. What I'm curious about is who's lighting the torches. That was one thing I was like, who lights these things if no one's touching them? Oh. No, nope, fuck off, dude. Alright, checkpoint. Alright, alright, alright. Oh. Oh, crap. <laughs> Just crashed his nose is left. And I love how they have the dark style of animation, like, when he dies. It's like you just see, like, his, um, his shoes left. Seems like they have the bra the blast on the TNT. Damn monkey. I will have my revenge on you. In fact, I'm honor bound to stop you. That way we don't wind up with the planet of the apes. Oh, God damn it. Let's go, 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 crash. That's why, you know, 
Tennis shoes are not the things to wear on a slippery surface. You gotta wear boots. All right, Tana stage. Break these open. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Even Tana looks disappointed that I didn't make it. Now, the original crash was actually made without the analog sticks because this was before the DualShock controller. So that's why sometimes the game can feel a little finicky with the controls. There we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Still think it's funny how Crash just face plants into the ground no matter how far he falls. Because this was made before an era of uh, fall damage. Whew, that was close. Ooh. I didn't even notice him until I actually jumped up there a second time. It's like, pfft, ah, my face. Go. Shit. <laughs> Did Crash just hit the ground like twice before he actually hit the actual ground? All right. Come on, Crash. We got this. Finally, made it up here. Ah, you son of a bitch with a shield. And I like how you can actually see uh, Cortex's ship and everything in the background. You know, it's kind of weird that this game was first developed by Naughty Dog, who would later on go on to make, uh, like, the Jack and Daxter games, The Last of Us, The Last of Us 2. Whoa, crap. That was close. The fire scared me. Because, like, you know, you, you often see stuff like this and, like, wonder if the company is actually going to do anything different. Kind of like with the Nintendo and the Mario games. I mean, Nintendo's always been making Mario games for as long as they can remember. Because, you know, Mario's their bread and butter. You put a Mario game, everybody's going to buy it. But it's like, when do they actually do, like, new IPs? And I know a lot of you are going to get me on flack for saying that, but, I mean, think about it. We know there's going to be, like, a new Nintendo... Like, mascot, I mean, think about it. Think about how many mascots Nintendo has. You have Samus, you have um, Link, you have Mario, Luigi. Like, everybody in the entire Nintendo lineup could be considered a mascot because their games all first started out with Nintendo's, like, first, like, games, like, um... Like, uh, Mario, where he, like, Super Mario, Mario Brothers, Donkey Kong, 
There are so many like different mascots for Nintendo, and it feels like that's their only bread and butter. Now, I'm not saying Nintendo doesn't have like exclusives. But I'm saying is that like everything that they have just seems to tie back to their original bread and butter. And that's it. I mean, think about how many Zelda games there are. Think about how many Mario games, how many Metroid games there are. It's ridiculous. But it's like, how many new things do they have? Okay, I lost uh, Aku Aku. Okay, a new checkpoint at least. Oh. <laughs> and like I said, my death animations are the favorite of Crash. Just because they're a little dark, but still somewhat funny. I forgot what was it. I think it's in Crash 2 when you hit like a nitro box. The only things that were left of Crash were his eyes, his nose, his shoes, and his teeth. That's it. And they and they fell like from the sky. So it's like, like I said, a little dark humor here and there. Okay, I'm down to nine lives. Like I said, this game's a lot harder than I remember. And it only gets harder and harder as the levels go on. Crap. They really use it. Aku Aku mask. Or at least some more Wumpa fruit so I can get some more lives. Okay, I see more lives. Okay, gotta time this perfectly. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, I got an Aku Aku mask. And I immediately died when getting it. Hopefully I can get another checkpoint. Because I think we're at the end of this stage. Or at least getting close. Okay, I lost my one hit. Okay, seven lives. I think I can do this in seven lives. Oh, crap. That's the same place I died last time. And now I can't even get a life again. All right, come on. Jump. Okay, I got hit. But I made it past to where I died. Use those invincibility frames, Crash. Okay, back to six lives. Can't believe I lost so many lives on this one stage. I had 17, now I'm down to six. Now I'm down to five again. Mm, 
And it's invincibility frames for the win. Okay, looks like they're giving me a checkpoint because they feel sorry for me. Okay, yeah, they definitely gave that one to me out of pity. There we go. Hop. Oh, damn it, the fire scared me. Shit. This is not good. Three lives. Okay, I finally made it with three lives. Now, no more fire. Oh. Thank you, zombie Jesus. I just got to get that last one, and I'm up to seven again. <laughs> just cheese the system until it works. Okay, I didn't get the rest of them because I don't get the gems. <laughs> Thank you, Crash. Oh my god. <laughs> and what kind of bums me out is we don't actually get to see the crash dance until Crash 2. Up the creek. Failing a bonus round doesn't cost lives, so retry it. Yeah, I'm glad that doesn't cost lives. Oh my god, can you even be imagine? I'd be starting over right about now. Okay, you're definitely taking pity on me from like going from 17 lives down to like three. And though I do feel a little conflicted about taking stuff out of pity. I'll definitely take those lives. Okay, so there's a Tana stage. But is there an Embryo stage? Up we go. Oh, you're being really generous with the lives now. Either I'm coming up to another boss fight, or you're just being really nice so you can dick me over later on. <laughs> That's the first time I've actually seen those things each crash. up okay come on and I love how crash doesn't like like he doesn't just like sink in the water he just floats you land in the water and he just oh crap just starts floating so I got to jump a little bit earlier with you. New life. You 
You know what's funny is that like um, a bunch of people think that the fruit that Crash gets is actually a uh, mango, and I can see that because it does look like a mango, but it's actually called Wumpa fruit. And actually, in Crash 3 or Crash 2, you actually get a Wumpa Fruit Bazooka. Another Tana token. <laughs> I like the little sounds of the... Piranha make. I mean, it's hard to be scared of like something that's making that type of noise, you know. All right, Tana, let's see what you got for me. Okay, thirty boxes. These ones you have to be like an expert to get. Two extra lives, 30 boxes. Ooh, I'm just missing three more boxes. Back to 12. Damn, so I missed two boxes. Well, at least Crash didn't get beat senseless. When I used to play this, I used to miss like 10 boxes. Oh boy. It's definitely bringing back memories to when I was a kid, you know. Ooh, I made it to Ripperoo. Nice. Definitely bringing up. Direct attacks don't hurt him. If I remember right, I think I have to jump on him. Oh, yeah, I think I remember how to fight him. It's like I have to watch where he's jumping, but I have to let the TNT boxes come down from the river. Yep. Definitely got to let the TNT boxes come down from the river. And I got time then to blow him up. There you go. Ah, damn it. Wait, did Crash just talk? Sometimes I misjudge the timing on the jumps. Or I misplace the jumps.
Okay, so I definitely got to plan these out. Because he only jumps in certain spots. Oh, god damn it. Shit, down to four lives. Because he only ever goes to the center, the middle. So I can literally just stand here and not have a problem with it. Okay, that one got him. He only jumps on these ones. Okay, gotta time it right. Because he only jumps... Okay, that's two. One more and he's dead. Whoa. Oh, God damn it. Okay, I got his pattern down now. So he only ever hops on like these ones right here. Damn, misjudging the jumps. Whoa. Okay, that's one down. This time, that one. Oh, God damn it. Last life, shit. Shitty titties, man. Okay, I'm trying to be really, really careful here because I don't want to fuck this up. And I fucked that up. Ah, damn it. Okay, after this, I have no more lives. Ah, I forgot. Ah. Hi, Uka Uka. All right. All right. Second verse, same as the first. How many lies I got? I got four lies to take him out. Are you kidding me? First jump I make.
Looks like I won't be able to get. Ah! Uh, what? Excuse me. Hello. Pretty sure I landed on that box of TNT. I think I gotta jump on this one over here. Ah, damn it. Already down to my first life. What? Okay, I am more than 100% sure I landed on that box. Okay, so he winds up on that last one right now. Okay, he's down to his last life. Oh, crap. All right, finally. With no lives left. I forgot how annoying Ripper Roo was in his terms of boss battles. But I swear, I thought I landed on those boxes. I'm more than sure I landed on those boxes. All right. Well, I think that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am really happy to be bringing you, you know, Crash Bandicoot. And I'm going to be doing the other two games too. And those ones I am going to be going for like the the secret endings. Because they're out, the secret ending and those are actually canon and they make sense to the story. Anyway, thank you guys so much. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.